Good afternoon or morning, everybody, and welcome back to another weather forecast here by Adrian with the forecast. This is another update here on the extremely strong severe weather now, and it is starting to ramp up and become a lot more energized and becoming a lot more widespread. We actually now have two states that have tornado warnings. We actually have a county just outside of Savannah, Georgia, and also out a couple counties that are not far from uh, uh, just north of Houston, so definitely something we need to worry about. We actually had tornado watches across now in Mississippi. We just had them in Texas and Louisiana, but now again, they are going all the way up into now southwestern Louisiana and now crossing into much of south central Mississippi. We've seen this uh, these bands become quite heavy and produce some uh, small hail, but we're starting to see these bands become a lot more uh, organized, starting to see some more cells. We're definitely starting to see these bands getting a lot stronger, in other words. So definitely something we need to worry about as it is continuing again the overday the overday heating we're continuing to see this moisture and humidity from the Gulf Coast strengthen with a surface low temp uh, surface low uh, of course. But if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, guys. It really means a lot when you guys support my channel and please. Please share the uh, video to any friends or family that you think uh, will definitely need this information because I know a lot of people don't really uh, really worry about it. I know some people just, oh, it's just a severe weather day. But please share as many, share this video to as many people as you can because we need as many people uh, to be weather aware of this. So please, again, share it so we can uh, make people, uh, again, aware of this and so they can avoid uh, getting hurt or anything. But again, also, if you are new yourself, please be sure to subscribe. We are almost at uh, 2,140 subscribers. We've gone there really, really fast. So again, be sure to subscribe. But without further ado, let's get in the video. So again, here we are looking at the National Weather Service. Let's actually start off with this tornado warning in Savannah, Georgia. Again, this is from that band that brought incredibly heavy rain throughout areas around Atlanta and areas out there into northern Alabama earlier this morning when I made my first video. That is this exact same band, but now it's actually worsening again now it's our first tornado warning in georgia so far today it is actually our first tornado warning of today until that texas one came in right after so again that's going to be again for i don't know exactly what county that is uh i can actually again that's north of savannah and you're also just in between states for and savannah so that's where we have a tornado warning in effect and here it is right here this tornado warning it is very powerful a band right here. It looks like it does possibly have a couple discrete cells. That one little area in that red. Again, as you can tell, definitely strengthened from Victoria. Uh, yeah, I did go past the Vic uh, or not. That's not Victoria, I believe. That is uh, uh, Vid Vidalia. It went past Vidalia. Uh, now strengthened and that's gonna be going just north of Savannah. It looks like it will be going uh, really just eastward. Not really south, uh, southeast, uh, uh, southeastern wind. It's going to be coming from these westerly winds. So it looks like it might actually go straight uh, towards areas into um, areas into the South Carolina area to actually check what cities those are. Uh, it actually might be heading straight for Bu uh, Beaufort or uh, Hilton Head Island. Uh, it looks like Hilton Head Island. You guys what might be in the exact path of this major, uh, this major uh, band and again. Not necessarily looking like it's a supercell, really, based on just looking at itself. Looks like it is strengthening with another band right here, just uh, southeast of Statesboro. Looks like it is connecting with that, so it potentially could become a supercell soon enough. But again, here we have that very strong rain, an incredibly powerful. Uh, of course bands but again here is the uh, look at it right here uh right now so definitely starting to see that rain uh out here so let's actually just look at that really quick sorry actually my friend texted me so i actually had to read it okay but again here again this is that system again in georgia heading towards south carolina so very heavy rain again heading to uh, heading towards myrtle beach uh again heading towards the islands of south carolina again here we have that really strong band again heading towards the savannah area again it looks like it could potentially have a supercell but not again exactly aware of that right now again now we're we'll taking a look at the again these tornado watches and again we have that from mississippi all the way from the houston area south of houston going all the way up into the meridian area in mississippi jackson mississippi yazoo city all these areas that got affected by tornadoes last week are under tornado watches. Also, including Monroe, Shreveport, areas near Alexandria. You guys are also under a tornado watch as well. Uh, sorry, she actually texted again. 
And again, now we also have again the uh, across much of eastern Texas as well. Tornado watch is again for the Houston area, and then we had the tornado warning again north uh, east of Houston. Again, very strong band. Uh, that sh this tornado warning should actually be uh, gone very soon. Actually, um, this band will be moving out. It's very very small uh, cell system, as you can tell. Uh, we're just going to be seeing these cells, div uh, again, like I said, these uh, these cells and uh, these bands are strengthening, and this is what, this is a sign of it strengthening, actually, uh, because that's why we have a tornado warning for that cell, because it's actually strengthening, but should not, if it really does cause a tornado, I really don't think it will be anything major, but again, now we're going to begin the SPC day outlook again. There's actually a bit of a more update, I actually disagree with actually the updates, actually now taking me back. I'm actually not in the border of a marginal and a just a general risk, or I'm actually a bit more in the marginal. But again, I think they should continue to extend this slight chance. Actually, it did move a lot more to the south, and I really disagree with it. I really think they should extend this uh slight more to the north, just like the enhanced. But again, I guess they just don't want to do that because again, I think they're underestimating these severe weather bands that will be coming tonight. They will be very strong, especially north of Atlanta. I know that's not going to be the worst of it, but I, I think it will be worse enough to not have a marginal, if you guys understand me. Uh, but again, let's just not see, let's just not talk about what, what I think is going to happen. Let's just see what is going to happen. So again, the slight chance, I'm going to be not talking about the marginal, because I don't want another 30-minute video. But in the slight risk, again, we have around 16.5 million people, and that's level 2. So again, that's going to be including possibly the uh, some very strong bands. You won't obviously be seeing the worst of the uh, tornado, wind, and hail threats, but there's a pr there's a chance that y'all can possibly see some wind, hail, and tornado, but it's a very low risk. But again, there's still a decent chance we can possibly see some smaller tornadoes, maybe even spin-ups out here if you're in the yellow color. That's for Dallas, uh, Jacksonville, New Orleans, Atlanta, and Plano, Texas. And the enhanced risk, that's where we're possibly getting a bit of a, a actually a very high, a high risk for tornadoes, wind, and hail. So again, if you're in the enhanced risk, you may not be in the worst of it today, but you're getting awfully close to the worst of it for today. Again, very good chance for possibly seeing EF2 to EF5 tornadoes in the enhanced risk, possibly 60 plus mile per hour winds, and possibly quarter sized hail, if not um, getting up to golf sized hail. And that's going to be including now around 13 million people, including Houston, Baton Rouge, Shreveport, Mobile, and Tallahassee. The moderate risk, that's where possibly the, that's where we're going to be seeing the biggest risk for severe weather, the worst of it as well. Again, we can possibly see EF3, EF5 tornadoes here, 70 plus mile per hour wind, and possibly softball sized hail, if not tennis sized hail. That's going to be for Montgomery, Columbus, Jackson, Macon, and Albany. Tornado threat still the same thing. Really, we have the highest risk for the 15% chance. That's our highest risk for today. Really don't think it will get any bigger than that. If not, that, that wall will have to extend a high risk, but that's very unlikely. So we'll say 15% chance we'll say our highest risk for today. And then, so again, that's going to be for around 5 million people, including Montgomery, Columbus, Jackson, Macon, Albany. So if you know anybody around this 15% chance, you are still in a threat for a big percentage of a tornado, which 50% chance is like a 40 to 50% chance, in other words, even though it doesn't say that. And also the big threat with this is actually we have... These uh these layers or these um risks are very close to each other. Look at this. The five percent chance right here on the panhandle of Florida is possibly maybe like five to ten miles, maybe twenty miles away from that fifteen percent chance for a tornado. So you may be in the five percent chance, but within maybe twenty miles away from the fifteen percent chance, we can possibly have tornadoes develop in that ten percent or fifty percent chance and move southward and boom, you're right in the five percent chance for right there and you get a tornado that's also that big risk also that's going to be a big threat for out these areas in the two percent chance and five percent chance you can't even see the five percent chance right here it's within maybe two or three miles away from the ten percent chance and then that ten percent chance is maybe ten miles away from the fifteen percent chance so that's why we have a very big threat even if you're not in the fifty, not even if you're not in the fifteen percent chance today because they're so close which means it can be unpredictable now on the um, wind threat, this again, same thing. We still have that 45% chance for our highest risk for damaging winds, possibly 65 knots or greater within 25 miles radius of around that whole area. And that's going to be around 3 million people, Montgomery, Columbus, Macon, Albany, and Dolphin. Then our other highest risk is 30% chance. And then hail threat is maintaining on the lower side. Hail is our lowest threat uh, for today, really. We have tornadoes and wind to worry about, as well as flash flooding. 
But yeah, now we're looking at the storm reports we have today. Again, so far we have zero uh, tornado reports. I feel like that could possibly change uh, out here into the areas uh, out here into Mississippi and Louisiana awfully soon. I really think that could change. Uh, we have already 18 hail reports, all of those in Texas with those strong bands uh, near the Fort Worth and Dallas area and also just northwest of Houston. And then 16 wind reports mainly out there in Georgia. And uh, again, we actually had those wind reports right over Savannah, Georgia. So it was quite windy. And again, we had, the, I believe that where we had that tornado warning, that band did bring uh, wind reports uh, south of Macon as it did move eastward. Now we're going to be looking at the NAN 3 km model again. Uh, this is actually where we're seeing right now these very strong bands heading towards Savannah, Georgia, heading again as well, bringing very heavy rain for Augusta and Macon. But here we have these strong bands developing because, again, we have that cold front in place, so these bands did develop a lot later in the day. So that's why we're worrying about it right now. And that's why we have these tornado watches at, only in the Mississippi area. That's as, as far east as it will go. Uh, but very soon, Alabama and then Georgia will be added in the next couple hours. But again, here we have that defined low pressure system at 1,003 millibars. And these supercells will possibly develop right away because, again, this moisture, shear, uh, all this overday heating as these temperatures climb incredibly at a fast rate, it's going to become quite a, a quite a um, really fast um, development, as you can say. They were taking it quite a while uh, in the past couple hours since we've had these tornado watches in Louisiana. And also Texas, it's been a while since uh, it's been really taking a long time for these cells to really get uh, really stronger. But at this point, they're getting really strong now, as you can tell. Uh, so we're starting to pick up the pace. And this low pressure system is also continuing to uh, strengthen now at 1,000 millibars, bringing incredibly strong to be weather for the areas in southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana. Continue to see these smaller cells moving to the southern Alabama area. Oh, that's highlighter. Continue to see these smaller cells out here into the southern Alabama area. And this is actually the similar to the one we have in Texas where we have the tornado warning. These smaller cells that can possibly have, again, discrete cells and possibly some spin-ups that can possibly become, again, tornadoes, especially with debris. And then these bands, of course, will be heading now in, in the morning hours, heading towards now south of uh, the metro Atlanta area. Continue to see this linear band stretching all the way from the Gulfport area up into the, uh, again, Dahlonega, up into metro Atlanta. Still some powerful bands in front and behind this system. Again, we had that first low pressure system that's bringing that tornado warning for Savannah now. That's going to be going off the coast. And then, of course, we have the primary threat for the Carolinas and central Georgia uh, in the, uh, tomorrow in the uh, really late morning hours, early uh, mid-morning hours, really into the early uh, afternoon hours. Now we're we'll be looking at that hill thread again. We definitely have that hill thread again, just that area north of Houston. We have some bands moving to that the now the western border with Louisiana. We could be see up to close to two inch hail. We have 1.6 uh, inch hail that uh, really the diameter, and then really we're going to be seeing the scattered areas again. Well, again, like I said, hail threat is our least uh, big, our less least uh, our our smallest threat, really. In other words, so again, not going to be seeing much hail, but we actually have a huge update on the STP, which is the Significant Tornado Parameter. This is really measuring uh, the energy and all that to possibly create a tornado. Again, it's not a Toricon. It's similar to a Toricon, but it's not necessarily uh, measuring like the, uh, for example, 1 out of 10. So that's your chance of a tornado. It's not, this is not what it is. It's, again, really doing the, it's doing like the similar thing, but again, it's not called a Toricon. It's just really seeing the, uh, really measuring the potential area where we can be seeing the tornadoes and measuring it on a bar. So it's going to be comparing to the numbers on the bars on the risk, not the percentage. So again, already we're going to be seeing an STP of 6.7. Again, really past the 5 is really a decent chance. Uh, but once you get past an 8 or a 7, that's when it gets, um, it gets a bit more active. Uh, so that's when we see... Um, all right, so that's when we start to see, again, that energy coming in, starting to see a, a potential uh, chance or a, a, a possibility for tornadoes, and that's going to be out there into Louisiana later today. Well, that's where we start to see that energy building up, possibly having those tornado watches moving eastward. And we, here we have north of Baton Rouge, uh, sorry, not north, uh, east of Baton Rouge, we can possibly see a incredibly high risk for tornadoes. Um, again, that's going to be very... Uh, really really high actually it's almost guaranteed to possibly see tornado tracks uh potentially either moving in this area or starting uh 
in that area. So that's definitely something we need to worry about, actually, because that's incredibly high. Uh, around, uh, again, definitely high. 12.5. Really, when you get past the 7, that's really high. But really, really good chance. Again, uh, it's going to be all, all really is going to be adding up, especially when we look at the supercell composite parameter. It's all going to be adding up. Uh, so again, definitely be seeing the these high higher numbers kind of dying down a little bit. We're seeing some seven point seven, which is still very high in Louisiana and Mississippi. That's going to be causing, uh, again, that's not going to be causing a huge huge threat for possibly an EF five, of course. But again, still seeing that chance. We may be seeing a, some, some smaller tornadoes, if not maybe EF threes or fours, developing into the areas now moving toward Meridian, and then also seeing a pretty high risk now for uh, actually Alabama, our highest risk for Alabama so far today. We've seen in this uh, this uh, model 9.2, which is a very, very high number. So definitely looks like a chance for tornadoes to develop in these areas for sure. And then also up to a, almost an eight in uh, areas in uh, southern, uh, uh, of so southeastern Georgia, and then up to a 6.5 for areas near Savannah. So again, looks like Savannah, you guys are not done. You're not, you guys are not at, uh, out of the woods yet. Now that I mentioned the other one, now we're gonna be looking at the supercell composite parameter. This is all gonna be adding up with that tornado, uh, significant tornado parameter. So again, uh, this is like the same thing. It's gonna be measuring the, uh, for again, the significant uh, p t uh, potential for seeing supercells developing. Really, again, this is gonna be out of the bar. And really, of course, the higher you go, the bigger the risk is, and as you tell, goes all the way to a 35. So if you get any closer to a 35, that's when you get a big risk for supercells. So again, here we are looking at Western Texas or Eastern Texas, where we had again that tornado warning. Mm -hmm. We have a 20 on the SCP, which is actually a very high number to actually see already. It was a 20 is almost a very very high number for SCP, so a very good chance for seeing supercells. And it gets a lot higher, seeing up to a 22 out here in the SAP, scattered areas into Louisiana, all the way to Mississippi, even still in Texas, up to a 14 to a 16 on the SAP in Georgia. So again, very scattered. But look at this. This is the highest SCP number I've ever seen. A 37.4. That's way up here be uh, above this graph. It's actually right on the top. That's that's crazy. Look where a decent chance is all the way up here. A 37.4 is right where we had that 12.5 for a tornado, significant tornado parameter, which is almost guaranteed. Again, we're going to be seeing a supercell, but not only that, looks like it's almost a guarantee we're going to be seeing a supercell producing a strong tornado out here into the southeastern part of Louisiana right here. So if you live anywhere north of New Orleans, you guys really need to watch out as we have a 37 on that supercell parameter. That's incredibly high. And then even as we continue to go in the next couple hours after that, it does actually wind down to around a 19, which is still a very high number, especially, again, now becoming a bit more widespread into much of eastern Louisiana. And now we'll start seeing this number of SCP going up another another bit, up to a 24 for areas in Montgomery. Seeing ahead of this really around a 7 to a 10 out here in front of southern uh, uh, Georgia. And it does go up once again into the Monday hours getting up to a 20, which is again, very high. That's gonna be very, it's gonna be really high throughout much of today and tomorrow. It's gonna be a high, a really high risk for supercells. Getting up to a 20 for Savannah, Georgia, areas into the, uh, not far from the Charleston area. You guys would possibly see up to an 18 or 19, which is again, a chance for potentially seeing tornadoes. I actually not gonna be looking at the lightning. I don't wanna make this video too long. Lightning is at least of our threat. Now we're going to be looking at the K values again. Really high amount of energy moving into these areas. Really high, actually, a lot higher than expected. New Orleans, you guys are already at four thousand two hundred joules per kilogram, which is a whole ton of energy. Again, as you can tell, this is why these bands are strengthening so fast now that we didn't see earlier today, because we having this this uh, amount of energy, the amount of humidity, all that strengthening very quickly. Again, as you can tell, this number of uh, really K values is going up. A lot compared to what we saw, uh, of course, in my last video. Definitely see this moisture coming in Louisiana, Mississippi. That's why I have these tornado watches in effect because there's a potential for seeing these bands strengthening very soon. Again, this is our area to watch out again for the supercells and tornadoes. And again, also that more energy now coming into the Texas area. That's why we still have these more uh, these bands uh, developing with these smaller cells because as you can tell, where we have these smaller cells, we have lower Cape values. 
and that's and that's why we see these smaller cells because it did, again it's not a huge uh huge uh, amount of cape values because it's just arriving in these areas which is why we are starting to develop this threat now as of right now for this huge tornado threat now is developing now we have these tornado watches and all that as you can tell, we're going to be seeing this, uh, the moisture now moving now closer into now at the, uh, at the northeastern uh, winds. That's going to be now causing a threat out here into the, the panhandle, southwestern Georgia, and still providing more and more energy to produce more and more bands and continue to keep these bands out here into Louisiana, Mississippi. And again, continue to see these lower 3000s, and then by later tonight, things do die down a little bit, not seeing as much energy flowing where the Savannah, Georgia area or South Carolina so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All tornado warnings are gone now, so that's very good. I don't think we had a tornado report, but bye, guys.